Okay, so a question I've been getting quite frequently here in the past few weeks is what is the cheapest way or what way costs the least amount of money in order to learn how to become a penetration tester? So there is a lot of really, really great resources that are free or just really, really inexpensive. So if I was to do this all over again and give myself advice, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. If I wanted to go back and become a penetration tester or learn everything I needed to in order to become a penetration tester all over again, what would I tell myself? That's what we're going to be covering in this video. But I want you to know that if I was to do this, I'd give myself at least eight months to a year in order to learn and progress throughout this journey. So let's go ahead and check this out. TCM has a free hacking course on YouTube. This is a really good place to get your feet wet and start learning the basics of tools and methodologies and start figuring out exactly what your specific methodology is going to be as you start down this road. This is where I would start if I was wanting to get into the world of penetration testing. I would start with his courses free on YouTube. From what I I believe he covers basic footholds and basic privilege escalation this is a free course so obviously there's going to be a lot more that you will need to learn but this will be a great way to get your feet wet so you are ready to move on to step two so for me what i'd want to do is the oscp like boxes on tj Knowles list and use ipsex videos whenever i get stuck now when you're first starting out you're probably going to want to just pick a box an easy box and then just watch the ipsex video first then shut the video off have no walkthroughs and then actually go try to exploit the box that you just watched and you should be able to do this because at the beginning you're not going to know what exploits even exist and you're not going to know how to find them or how to even look for them so start out by watching the ipsec videos first then try to go and exploit the boxes i personally would focus on just windows or just linux boxes first maybe do seven or eight windows boxes and then do seven or eight linux boxes and make sure you take good notes now at this point if it were me i know that i would be getting the itch to do something else other than continue to do some kind of Windows or a Linux box. So I'd be ready to switch over to do some web hacking. And this is really what I like to do. And this is where my interest is. And I know there's a really big interest in this for a lot of other people beyond that of just penetration testing. And I would suggest going to my bug bounty course this is going to give you an overview of the most common bugs within web application testing. If you want to be a penetration tester, I think it's really going to help you because you're still going to need to know the basic web exploits, especially for gaining information in order to get a foothold on the initial box. Because a lot of the footholds will come through a web application exploit whether it is just getting information such as credentials in order to get the initial foothold you're going to need to know the basics of web application penetration testing i think my bug bounty video will provide for you what you need to know as you're making your way into penetration testing after you feel comfortable with web application testing it's time for you to go back to tj Knowles list and ipsec videos i would suggest to myself at this point to try and do the boxes as best i can without any outside help so no videos and no walkthroughs and if i get stuck then go watch watch the ipsec video and listen to his thought process the reason for this is you need to start developing your own recon and enumeration techniques and you're not going to gain any enumeration technique or develop your own style of hacking if you're just constantly following other people's videos and their walkthroughs so you're going to need to at this point start doing some of the exploits and enumeration on your own without any videos and then if you get stuck you can go look for clues or watch an ipsec video and if you're still wanting to go the cheapest route at this point when you start to feel really comfortable with the boxes on tj Knowles list then go get a hack the box subscription to dante i have no idea how much this costs but it is a great way to practice port forwarding and tunneling and lateral movements i think it's going to be a little more difficult than what you would see on the oscp if you choose to go that route i haven't done a ton of research on this i did do a one month subscription to dante and i think i ended up playing around with it for a whole of three days and it did seem pretty good so i would suggest going there if you need to practice port forwarding and tunneling and lateral movements because you will need to know how to do this for exams after i felt comfortable with port forwarding and tunneling i would suggest you move toward whatever certifications you think are going to advance you and your career for me i would probably do the ejpt the pnpt and the oscp maybe the pen test plus because i know a lot of companies like to see that as well because it covers some of the legal sides of penetration testing and what you are and are not allowed to do and these are the ones i would do because they make the most sense financially now for a bonus if you have the money i would suggest instead of doing dante on hack the box inside of hack the box academy i would purchase the port forwarding tunneling and chiseling module as well as the ad the active directory labs in hack the box it's going to be better than dante because if in dante you're going to kind of have to figure everything out on your own and read in order to 
figure out how to do the port forwarding and the tunneling. But if you do have the extra money to do hack the boxes, port forwarding and active directory labs, that is going to help you out a lot in getting you prepared for the exams. So I hope you enjoyed that little roadmap. If you are looking for any of the resources, they can be found down in the description. As always, thanks for watching.